An electric motor has got two fundamental components. There's the stationary part, which is called the stator, and there is the rotating part, which is called the rotor. So here we're looking at just this stator component, and the most important part of that is a magnet. It could be a permanent magnet, or it could be an electromagnet. And the magnet has got a south pole and a north pole. Now let's add the rotor. It rotates about an axis out of the screen, and it contains inside three coils, or three electromagnets. Now we will apply power to the motor. The arrows show the direction of flow of the conventional current. Current flows into the positive terminal and out of the negative terminal. These elements here are called brushes, and they transmit the power from the stationary part of the motor to the rotary part of the motor. They rub on these circular arcs, which are called commutator segments. So there's quite an amount of friction involved in getting power from the stationary part of the motor into the rotating part. There are two brushes, and there are three commutator segments. At any one point of time, the positive brush is connected to one commutator segment, the negative brush is connected to another commutator segment, and one commutator segment is not connected to anything. The current flows from the positive brush to one of the commutator segments, the positive segment, which is shown in red. The current then follows two different paths. One path takes it through a single electromagnet to the negative commutator segment, which is shown in black. The other path takes the current through two electromagnet coils in series. The outermost poles of the three electromagnets are variously attracted or repelled by the magnetic field due to the stator. This south pole on the rotor is repelled by the south pole on the stator it tends to push it away in this direction. This south pole on the rotor is attracted to the north pole, which tends to pull it in this direction. And this north pole on the rotor is repelled by the north pole on the stator, which tends to push it this way. The net result is a torque, which rotates the rotor in the clockwise direction. We're going to stop the action here because a very interesting event is about to happen. The brush is going to move from one commutator segment to the other, and this is a process known as commutation. It's important to notice that this south pole on the rotor is now very, very close to the north pole on the stator, and this is about as good as it gets for a magnet, so it's not going to want to budge any further, and this is a bit of a problem. So let's watch what happens during the commutation event in slow motion. What we notice as the brush moves from one segment to another is that the path that the current follows through the rotor and through the various electromagnets changes instantly, and that causes the polarity of one of the electromagnets to flip. So the electromagnet that I mentioned a moment ago that was in a happy position of having its south pole right next to a north pole now has its north pole next to the north pole, so it's going to want to get away from there. Let's look at the commutation process one more time. And now we'll go back to regular time. 